Hey guys, my name is Bailey and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. So today I'm here with April and we just got back from Columbus, Ohio. I'm super tired still, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. It was probably the best meetup I've ever been to in my life. Um, when I got there, I had no idea where I was because I'm not from Ohio and we got the parking information from um, AG Takes Over's post and then we walked into Macy's, got lost and then went to American Girl. <laughs> I had no idea where the meetup was. I saw some people forming towards the back and I did stop and um, try to see if it was the meetup but I was a little shy. So. I kept walking around the store. I was really focused on picking out some things for me. Um, and then once I did find the meetup, I had a bunch of things in my hand and my husband waited in the very long line to buy all the things for me. He was so funny. <laughs> he was just like sitting down, chilling, watching Facebook videos for the meetup. And I was like running around, talking to people, like taking pictures of April and the displays. Um, I put a highlight or re I don't know what it is. It's on Instagram, but I put it on Instagram, just the photos that I took around the Columbus store. And I want to kind of do that for all the stores if I can. I think it'd be kind of cool to have like AG Columbus, AG Nashville, like all the different ones that I go to have like a little story for them. The bracelets went really well. Um, a lot of people thought that they were super cute. This is my skating bracelet from when I went skating. I also got these bracelets from a young girl. She was handing them out. She was with her mom who also collects. And I started following the mom on Instagram. So cool. Um, yeah, I got to make like a lot of connections there. Uh, we were all just like talking and then we'd be like, what's your Instagram? And then finally we were in the back of the store and then we moved to the front of the store because Grace came over and let us know like, hey, we're all in the back over here. And so we all migrated over there. And when we did, Christy was like, we have uh, name tags and if you don't want to get your picture taken use this color if you do want to get your picture taken take this color it was so cool it was so cool I loved just that thought because I would have never thought of something like that but it makes so much sense and we took a group photo and we took one with all of the people who did want to get photoed and then we let the other people come in just for a really big group photo that we could all have because there was a lot of people there like I did have extra bracelets but that's just because I was a psycho and I messaged AG takes over and was like hey I have 30 bracelets do you think that's enough and she said yeah but it might be <laughs> and I was just so worried so I made extra bracelets and I was just kind of handing them out like I had color coordinated them so that way like I knew what bracelet you were getting and stuff no at the meetup i was like here here may i give this to you please take this because <laughs> i i just thought it was so cool that people were giving out stuff so i got these bracelets i got this necklace that april is wearing i think i might give this to avery i'm not sure um i don't think it's an april necklace but i just thought it was really cool and then I got this bracelet that it could also be for Avery as well. Who knows? Avery and April are best friends, so it makes sense that she would get him things <laughs> and then wear them home. But that's very April. That's so her. And we were matching. It was super cute. Some people noticed. They were like, oh, I like your laces. Like, because I had purple laces on my shoes. And then they would like, look at me and be like, oh, are you guys like, and I'm like, yeah, we're coordinating outfits. It was so fun. There was a lot of people there. They all looked really cute. Everybody just like, all their dolls were so beautiful. I saw the most gorgeous number four. 
you know how whenever people have like social anxiety and they're like they're never gonna remember x y and z that you had no i remember that number four that number four was so beautiful it looked like it came out of a display case like it was gorgeous so i don't think i'm gonna add that one to my list but i do love number four i will say that and then <clears throat> People were also handing out um, hair bands. This one's from 80 Dolls Love Squirrels. If you guys are interested, there is a Columbus, Ohio AG Doll Club on Facebook. I believe that's what it's called. Central Ohio AG Doll Club. If you wanna go on Facebook. I don't have Facebook. I'm tempted to make my husband join it <laughs> for me just so I can look at it periodically. He would do it, but <laughs> I just haven't committed to that yet. But yeah, so I got like a little elastic headband for them. And somebody gave cutouts for, um, let me see if I can get it to focus, cutouts for little biscuit things. Like there was a lot of different foods that you could cut out and whatnot. And so I might do that. I'm not good with scissors. I. I did cut out hearts for my um, gifts and bracelets that I was handing out, but I am not good with that. And I did end up getting another necklace from AG Takes Over because there was just some extras in the bag and I'm a double dipper. If I have known that like it's been around and people have seen it and been to that area and it's still there, I'm a double dipper. <laughs> I'm trying, like, I, I'm not selfish, like, I don't want to just take everything for me, I want everyone to have the chance, but if it's left over, I'm gonna go look, I'm gonna go see what else there is. Um, <laughs> I have another story about that too. So the Ohio Columbus staff, so sweet, gave us these teacups, and I only got one plate with it, but there was an extra two teacups and so I just took one of the extra two and so now I have two teacups but I've never seen one like this before and Christy and Grace said that they've never seen it before either and I mean they're locals to the store I don't know how much they've like done the activities at the store however if they've never seen it and I've never seen it where did they come from <laughs> but they're so cute so that was super cool that the staff was able to give us something. I thought that was so nice and cool of them. Um, I was able to talk to somebody. Um, there was a girl walking around taking pictures of a lot of the displays and everything. And um, she was, I had talked to her before and she was talking to the employee. And so I started talking to the employee as well. <laughs> That's how I'm social. If I'm social with somebody else and they're being social with someone, I'll go over there. So we were chatting and the employee was super nice, but did say some hard news that maybe, you know, uh, I think she said Charlotte and Nashville might close next year. And I feel like employees know a lot of things, like as an employee of places, like I've known things years before it's happened. So who knows? But regardless, I hope it doesn't close because that's my store and if, if Nashville closes then I'd have two stores close. Not trying to have that. <laughs> um, but then Sarah Boyer, um, she has like her email and everything here. She was giving out things. Um, it was so nice. I gave her a bracelet and then she was like here pick something out and I was literally crying <laughs> while packing my dolls before I made the video. I was like I don't have any bags. Why don't I have any bags for my dolls? That's why I packed it in a box. Like, so now I got a bag. Like, I'm so excited. This is so cute. It's one of the Inner Star U bags. So cool. And then, yes. Okay. So there was a sale going on, and I did get into the sale. American Girl sent me a $40 reward before I went to the store literally five days before I went to the store and I was like this is what I thought would happen when I ordered McKenna this is what I thought would happen uh, by the way thank you to anybody who's um, corrected me on how to say McKenna 
thank you so much because I, I I'm a person who's like no please let me say it correctly like I, I want to I just hadn't done any research on it and then in the video I was like oh hmm but anyways McKenna is how you say her name I still haven't chosen if I'm gonna keep her yet because I saw a preview for another doll and the other doll does look like my niece who I was toying with giving McKenna to but I also want that other doll so I'm thinking I'm gonna get both and then decide all year which one I'm going to keep and which one she's going to keep. <laughs> but yes, so with my $40 reward, this was $40 on the website. It came back on the website recently. I checked the night before we went and it was on the website and then I checked in-store availability and it said Columbus had them. And there is two, I think, <laughs> I don't know. There could have been more. But I finally got it because I am planning an alternative girl and I think the bat boots and the stockings would just be so good for her. And then I've just never had a Halloween costume either. But technically it was free girl math um, because I had the reward. So that's cool. Um, I feel like everybody's on boxes so I'm not going to unbox this one. I want to save it for my birthday. I've been planning like a bunch of things. I'll probably do a video eventually on it, but I've been planning a bunch of things for me for my birthday because I want that alternative doll and I want to customize her. That's how I got my 90s doll. I customized her for my birthday. I guess that's a trend I like to do. I don't know. But this is the last thing I got and I'm so excited. So this thing is $70, but they were having the 30% off and I just decided to take it because I think it's beautiful and I'm super excited to open it with you guys. So it opens from the top, which is so weird. I'll let you see it like this, but I'm very excited. Let me see if I can get this. Okay. Mm. Cool. I ripped the box. Anyways, it don't matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. At least it's wrapped in tissue paper. Anyways, so we have a tray for the, okay, it's just the ceramic plate. I'm not sure. We'll put it right here for right now. <clears throat> Says, thank you for choosing American Girl. For more than 30 years, we've been making high quality outfits, accessories, and historical recreations that girls love. And while staying accurate and true to life, every detail of our products is designed to be authentic as possible. And so some are made with fragile materials like glass, porcelain, and stoneware, but be sure to take extra care while playing so they can be cherished for years to come. So I got two of these in here. I feel like they only put these in here with the very quality items because I don't know if you could tell with the side eyes while I was reading this. That ain't true all the time, but that's okay. So we have tea. We have orange Peco tea. I suck at pronouncing things, but I do have an Animal Crossing villager with this name, P-E-K-O-E, -E, and I love her. So I didn't know that's a type of tea. Anyways, um, okay, all right, here we go, here we are, oh, okay, so cool, so cool, okay, we have her loaf. This is nice. This feels good. 
It's nice. It looks baked well, you know. We have these little biscuit looking cinnamon crescent roll things. They're so cute. Like, that's so cute. And then we have a teapot. Um, I have to find its little lid. Okay. All right, good. Now that I have all the pieces, let's open it. So on the website, they said that there were none of these at the Columbus store. And this is what I was originally wanting before I even decided that I wanted the Halloween costume. And I had no idea that I was going to get this. This is even smaller and way more detailed than anything like that I've ever gotten for my dolls. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. And I've gotten a lot of tea sets for my dolls over the years. And I don't think anything's this cute. This looks like a real plate. Like, if you just scaled it up, that's a real ass plate. So we have that. So far, everything is so delicate, I'm so nervous. Okay. All right, let's open the glasses now. Um, these are what I'm super excited about. I think that they're just gonna look so cute in one of my rooms and I know that's like a lot to do for some glasses but I like every other piece like I plan on using all these pieces because they're really good like oh so cute <laughs> so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this part but there's like a little flower detail on here and a little hatching and flower it's just so beautiful like these cups they're gorgeous they're probably better than the cups that most people drink out of like and i'm most people i drink out of reusable starbucks cups <laughs> sometimes mason jars as well um <laughs> pros of adult life we have a lid for this honkin bad boy super excited this is such a nice piece rebecca's collection just gives good vibes like everything in her collection just looks so serene and beautiful like i just i love her collection Ooh, i almost forgot this y'all oh my god i just noticed this in the box this is so cute damn so cute Oh my gosh, a little doily thing. That's so cute. Oh, uh, okay. All right, let's open this guy. He looks wrapped. Spotify wrapped. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to wrap them back up or something, but I'm ripping everything up. Woo! Wow. Oh, wow. And I've seen this in the store, but touching it, I've never touched it. Oh, wow. Wow. So this piece turns. Does it do anything? I'll never find out. I'm going to stop turning it. It's feeling looser every time I turn it. Um, <clears throat> it is heavy for how it looks, um, and for most American girl things. Just has a screw on top. I guess it says don't put anything in here. <laughs> Literally. Um, okay. Oh, okay. All right, it's fine to turn. There we go. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, <clears throat> so I feel very uncomfortable holding it in my hands, but I'm going to do it for you guys. I've, hold, I've held two martini glasses in one hand. I think I can hold 
my American Girl things. Server life. So we have a teapot. We have this serving thing. I'm not sure what it's called. I could look on the box, but I don't want to mislabel it. That's just the only thing. This is Rebecca's Sabbath set. I don't know if I mentioned what it's called. And then the beautiful food items. Um, it is a lot of money, but I think for the quality, I think that it's pretty on what American Girl used to be and what I used to open for a historical set. I used to be enamored in what I was opening and be like, what is this? Let me later go look up what I'm opening and learn about the item. And I hope that children <laughs> are like that too. I don't know. I hope American Girl catches more than just me with that kind of stuff. Cause though I may not know what it's called now, I am going to go look it up because it's honestly like, I, I feel like I wasn't even filming. I feel like I was just opening <laughs> like this item. It was so sweet. I, I literally love it. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I had an amazing, amazing time at Columbus. If you said hello to me, if you watched my videos and you were there, I love you guys so much. It was such a cool experience. Like I met some people and they were like, I, I watch your videos and oh, I literally loved it. Thank you to everybody who said hello to me. Thank you for everyone who came. Thank you for Christy and Grace who threw it. I literally had the best time of my life. Like my smile didn't go away. I was just walking around the stores. It, it was just such a good time. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next week and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you. Bye-bye.